Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Anne. This is the Victorinox Swiss Champ XLT and I am sorry I bought it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to do a, kind of a mini review of the Swiss Champ XLT because this has become kind of important. The Swiss Champ XLT is on the list of knives that are going to be discontinued by Victorinox. At least if that's true, which no one really knows, but this is as released by the YouTube channel Vic Spain, and it to me seems likely to be true. This is very similar to my favorite knife, which is the Swiss Champ. The Swiss Champ is awesome. I used to think it was big, then I carried that. Now this seems small. <laughs> This also um, is very similar to the Swiss Champ XLT in the way it's put together. In fact, if you take this and were to cut it in half in between the pliers and the scissors and insert three extra layers, you would end up with the XLT and 11 layer knife. The layer that drew my eye and really probably is the thing that attracts most people is this one. This screwdriver comes with really eight different bits. There are two bits on each side. Some of them are flatheads, some of them are Phillips. There are Torx bits. There is a weird bit that is like a hexagon, which I really don't even know what to call that. I bet this is it here, yeah. I'm not even sure what this is, but nonetheless, you uh, have an opportunity to use that. And in addition, inside here, there is actually two different hex drivers in there. So this really is a very functional tool. It has, uh, a lot of utility to it. Unfortunately for me, I just didn't need this utility. The first day I got this, I thought I was in luck, right? So I took it to work. I got it before work and took it right to work. And as soon as I arrived, I thought I was in luck because there was a item which we had received, which was new. It was not working. I examined it and it was because a screw wasn't driven in all the way. With joy, I grabbed the Swiss Champ XLT. I got the Phillips driver in here, which I understand is actually something more fancy than a Phillips bit. I really don't know anything about that, but if you do, leave a comment below. Anyway, I grabbed this bit and I drove the screw in. Everything went great. It worked correctly and I felt like the hero. I was like, yes, my brand new Swiss Army knife saved the day in a way that the Swiss champ never could have. I kind of did probably forget about the fact that I had an inline Phillips on this, but regardless. Anyhow, I go about my day. Next thing I know, it's the end of the day and I have a realization that just kind of slowly came into my mind. <laughs> I realized I also had this. I had the 2D Phillips on the can opener that is available on like literally every Swiss Army knife, and I just never considered that. So what I did is I took this, I tried it on the same screw, I, I uh, well I actually unscrewed it, caused the problem, re-screwed it in, fixed the problem again, and I realized I really hadn't had an actual necessity, I guess, to have this driver. And that's kind of the story of my life with this driver. Never found another use for it. Some people are going to have a fantastic amount of use out of it. I'm going to tell you a little bit about these bits. To me, they feel a little bit small and maybe even delicate. I was worried when I tried to use this on a coat rack that was attached to the wall. I felt like I couldn't put a lot of torque into it. And this perceived delicacy concerned me, not only because I didn't want to injure this knife, but also because... To me, this knife feels irreplaceable. If it really is going away and it is as expensive as it is, I'm not going to replace it. This is probably my only chance to own it, so I don't want to ruin it. Well, that's a terrible way to have a tool. You don't want a tool that you feel like is so delicate you can't use. So that was a distinct drawback to me. Let's move on to the next layer. This is the pharmaceutical spatula. The pharmaceutical spatula is associated with a real job in which you take actual medicines. You scoop them from a place to a scale. You get the right amount weighed out on the scale. Then you pick it up on your uh, paper and get it into a capsule or, or press it into a pill so that people can take the right amount of medicine. And I am not talking about illegal pharmaceuticals. I'm talking about totally legal pharmaceuticals. And that actually is still something that is done occasionally by compounding pharmacists, etc. However, I 100% guarantee you that they do not use a pharmaceutical spatula attached to a Swiss army knife. They are not allowed to bring in their pharmaceutical spatula from home. I am absolutely positive. So this cannot serve its original purpose. What could you use it for? Well, I saw a video of someone that says he uses it for honey. I could see that, like the honey could kind of stick to the shoulder area here, and then you could kind of spread it. I, 
I apparently do have a Swiss Army knife limit, and that is I'm not going to stick my Swiss Army knife in honey. What else could you use it for? Someone said peanut butter, but honestly, if I were to use it for peanut butter, I would much rather use this part of my Swiss Army knife for peanut butter. This feels more robust. I think it's a bit thicker, and I feel this would do a better job of spreading peanut butter. In fact, you could get some nice lines in that peanut butter with your fish scaler, so that might be a good option for you. So not finding any use for that, let's move on to what is actually a super awesome layer. Number one, we have this, the electrician's blade. I really wanted an electrician's blade and it's because of this. I actually feel really happy that I own it and got to try this out. This I'm gonna call a sheep's foot style blade. I've sometimes heard it called something else, but it also has this little cutout area which is sharp and apparently you're supposed to use that to take the um, insulation off of wires. I really don't know anything about that, but I can say this is a really nice blade and I'm super glad I have it. I do like to have more than one blade on my Swiss Army knife. Now here I'm going to say I love this next blade, but because of its location kind of by the shaft of this driver, it is always hard for me to get out without doing some kind of backwards thing like this. Nonetheless, this is absolutely my favorite upgrade going from the Swiss Champ to the Swiss Champ XLT. This blade is amazing. It's called the pruning blade. And in fact, I previously had purchased the Swiss Army 7, also known as the harvester, because it has this blade. I use this mostly on some plants because I have a brown thumb and kill plants all the time. So I have dead things to cut off of plants all the time. And this is perfect for that. I love this blade. However, once I started carrying this blade, oh, isn't that beautiful? I just... I just love that. Anyway, once I started carrying this blade with me all the time, I realized it's good for everything. If you are opening a box, this is absolutely superior to any of the straight blades. If you have clamshell packaging or any other kind of Amazon packaging to open, this is fantastic. This is good for so many different things that you would never guess. This pruning blade is absolutely the blade of the future. If Victorinox wants to replace the small blade with this, I would absolutely be in favor of it. Even if they had to make my large blade like less robust in some way. If they could do that, I would be completely happy. I look at that and I try to see, are they about the same size? I think that this blade is a little thinner, so maybe they'll have to make a new pruning blade that's thinner. I don't know, but I love that blade. That is a huge upgrade for me. So given that I have at least one huge upgrade and some other stuff that I really admire, I admire this tool right here. I think the pharmaceutical spatula is silly, but it is so thin that honestly, I don't mind carrying something that small that I'm not going to use because it's so tiny. And eventually I will find a place to use this. I don't know where, I don't know why, but I will find something that I can use the pharmaceutical spatula on. The reason this is a mistake for me is a few. Number one, because it is so expensive. I really have not found a good deal on this anywhere, and I really, I mean, I would say I overpaid. I sort of panic bought it, and I'm not thrilled about that. So I already go into this not feeling good because I overpaid. Um, and then on top of that, just feeling like the value's not there. Next, the fact that it's irreplaceable makes me feel like I can't just use it for whatever I want to and figure I'll either get it fixed or replace it if it breaks. I mean, I don't want to like overuse my tools and actually break them on purpose or put them in situations where they're very likely to break. But when it comes to the Swiss Champ, I will use this for anything that I think it probably ought to work on. And if it's questionable, I'll just use it anyway. So far, it hasn't failed me yet, although I did <laughs> bend my uh, corkscrew a bit and it doesn't sit down flat, which has caused me to lose the small driver a couple times. But you know what? I don't regret that because that is part of the history of my life with this tool. And that is how we have lived together, <laughs> me and the Swiss champ. And I'm okay that he has some battle scars because we'll just say I have a couple too. Okay, so why then is this um, also a problem? You know, I really was frustrated when I tried to use the inline Phillips and I couldn't use it because the blade was, because the, the knife itself was so large that I couldn't make a complete rotation um, because it was just running into things like this. It's not a functional placement of this tool. And yet some tool has to go there. It's not going to necessarily be functional for anything. And actually one blade or one uh, layer off the edge is a really good place for the magnifying glass. And so I understand why the Phillips is there. Um, I like that I can get this very close to things cause it's very close to the edge. So that is actually a good placement, but it's not great for this 
Phillips driver. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I just found that a little disappointing. Who might this be good for? You know what? If you are somebody who is going to use these drivers, this is a great choice for you. Look into how to carry it. You will be able to figure something out. Um, I've got the video. I will put a link to a video by a man who really loves to carry this, how he actually hooks it to his belt but puts it in his pocket so it's hanging, protected in his pocket without putting any weight on the pocket. I'll put a link to his videos. If this is the right tool for you, it is just the right tool. It is extremely well built. It has some very nice things. I love these blades. And if you are the person that could really use this driver, if you work on smaller things where you're going to use Torx bits, etc., this really would be a great choice for you. However, if you are like me and you just want to have it because you want to have it because you assume bigger is better because you assume having the Swiss champ plus the cyber tool is obviously the best choice possible. Well, you know, you, you might be wrong. You might be right, but it's an expensive mistake to make. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time.